Hi guys and welcome to an episode of OBTV. I'm Francesca Gilbert and today we'll be welcoming on board Australian country music legend Adam Harvey. Now Adam's a mad keen fish show so today we'll be talking all things fish as well as getting inside to his brand new album. Let's go fire up the OB Super Tinny and let's get Adam. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Welcome to OBTV. Well, I, I don't know what I'm going to catch with this, though. <laughs> well, we understand you're a mad keen angler, so what do you say we switch that guitar for? Well, let's do, squad? otherwise I'll be sitting here all day fishing for compliments. Beautiful, let's get out <laughs> on the water. Oh, look at this. Thank you. Yeah, what are you going to play for us? How does that look? Well, we look like the Dixie Chicks, don't we? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Hey Adam, how are you mate? How are you going? Good. Really good mate. Here's a nice hat for you. Enjoy. You beauty. Walking on board the Ocean Blue Super Tinny and let's go and have a fish. Off we go. So if he's the skipper, I must be Gilligan, is that right? Well, yeah, if that's what you want to call yourself mate. <laughs> You know, I get my inspiration to write songs from, funnily enough, real life. I think um, real life is so much better than anything you can make up. Um, and that way when you write about things that have happened in your own life or people have told you a story about something that's happened to them, I think when you write songs about that it comes across so more genuine and it doesn't appear fake and I think that's really important, especially with country music. You know, the punters love it, the fact that it's, it's real, real stories about real people. Who's gonna smoke all of the weed when Willie's gone? Well, the new album is called Songs from Highway One. Um, I was watching a TV show about the massive rise in sales of caravans and camp events. People of all ages are buying them, you know, grey nomads and young families that take their kids out of school and, um, uh, you know, and hit the road and homeschool the kids. And I just thought, I've been lucky enough to do that for 25 years. Um, how great is it that so many people are experiencing what it's like to drive around Australia? Because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Um, I wrote one song about uh, Bundaberg Rum, the distillery up there. Um, I saw a bumper sticker on the back of a car that said all for one and one for all. And I thought, what about if we change that to all for rum and rum for all? And so hopefully the rum drinkers enjoy that song. The good times what we're looking for. Twenty twenty was a pretty crazy year. It, um, I'm so used to being on the go all the time, touring, flying in and out of festivals, and, and then it just all stopped. Uh, for the first week or so, it was great. I thought, how good is this? I'm on holidays, and then uh, as time sort of dragged on, it, it got pretty strange. Um, luckily for me, though, I did a hell of a lot of fish. The river will never be the same. Or when Willie's gone, no sir. I'm really excited about 2021 because I get to go back on tour and play live music again. Um, and I'm really excited about hitting the road, but my wife is over the moon about me hitting the road and going back on tour. I've followed her around the house for 12 months like a bad smell, so she can't wait to get rid of me. As a lot of uh, people in country music know, I absolutely love fishing. I'm always posting photos of my catch on Facebook or Instagram and always going on about fishing, uh, and I do. I just, just love it. So do my kids. Uh, probably my best day ever fishing was we played at, uh, up in the Kimberleys at a music festival up there and uh, the organisers said, righto, we're going to have a day's fishing tomorrow, who wants to go? And I said, great, I'm in. And Jimmy Barnes said, great, I'd love to go. And everyone else said, we don't want to go. So there's Jimmy Barnes and myself and a fishing guide and we spent the day catching barramundi while Jimmy Barnes told stories about touring with Cold Chisel and, you know, his wild nights, you know, partying. And it's still, I mean, the fishing was great, but just to listen to Jimmy tell those stories, I'll never forget it. My 
My worst day on the water was uh, we were up at the Daly River fishing in the big competition up there and uh, yeah, our, uh, our guide uh, sort of tried to overtake another boat and uh, lost control and uh, ended up up on the bank and we went through some trees and, and the boat spun around and hit a tree stump and I was sitting on the front of the boat on an esky, surprised me on an esky, <laughs> but it shot me straight out in the middle of the Daly River and uh, anyone that's been up there knows it is lined, the banks are lined with crocodiles. Um, I broke a couple of ribs but everyone reckons I broke the gold Olympic swimming record, <laughs> record coming out of the river, I'll never forget it. I've been lucky enough to fish basically all over Australia, but I'd love to do some more fishing around the world. Um, Jimmy Buffett is one of my favourite artists, uh, amazing musician, but he fishes the Caribbean all the time and he's got a big seaplane and he just spots the fish with his binoculars, they land the seaplane, push out canoes and then go fishing. So I reckon that's on the bucket list, I wouldn't mind doing that. Started her own hair and beauty parlour in a little bury on the beach. I've been lucky enough to go fishing, as I mentioned, with Jimmy Barnes, and that was really cool. But I reckon a day on the water with Willie Nelson, that would be absolutely fantastic. Because, you know, Willie loves the, uh, the, what will I say, the electric cabbage. I think that'd be one of the best days I'll never ever remember. <laughs> oh, the red headed stranger lived a life that's written in his song. He's the last of the outlaws and even though You know, I grew up with Rex Hunt. Uh, I'm originally born and bred in Victoria and, uh, you know, Rex was a big AFL football man, so I reckon it'd be pretty cool to go out fishing with Rex and, and just listen to him tell the stories about his old days playing football. And uh, I'm not going to kiss the fish, though. Sorry, Rex. I've written one fishing song uh, I wrote with uh, the future leader of Australia, a man called Kevin Bloody Wilson. Uh, it kind of goes, a bad day's fishing beats a great day's working, but a great day's fishing leaves you wishing it never would end. But um, you never know, today I might even be inspired to write a song for the crew at Ocean Blue. Adam, thank you so much for joining us today. You had a great day, but I just want to say good luck with your tour and album coming up. Yeah, good on you. Thank you. It was a beautiful day today, and there's nothing like being out on the water. You know, I call it saltwater therapy, and especially on a beautiful day like today. But we should thank our skipper. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much, Adam, and we'll see you on the next trip. Right, eh? It's, like it's a date. Day's working, but a great day's fishing leaves you wishing that it never would end. You've heard about the one that got away Oh, that's me out here today The one tug on the line was all it took We hope you've enjoyed this episode of OBTV. Don't forget to share this with all of your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click subscribe to see all of our upcoming new videos. From all of us here at OB, be good.